Hello guys and welcome to the Music Empire, the channel that spreads the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ through the talent he's given us. Yes, and today's lesson is the part two of our previous lesson that was recently uploaded um, about this Ghanaian song, um, Medawasi, right? It's a typical local Ghanaian song. But if you watch the cover, you saw that we we went the contemporary way with the, with the pianos even though the strings was was simple and all that yes so it's in this lesson that we break down all those chords that you see me play in the cover okay so let's get started with the breakdown of the piano chords in the cover and guys i want to say this please those of you who keep commenting play it in the key of this play it in the key of that play it in the key of this i keep saying this several times it's not possible for me to play one song in all keys at once then it means that each lesson will, 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 will have to be about 12 videos. How is that possible on this channel? Do your best to learn the keys. It's, it's good for you. It's good for you as a, as a keyboard player. And it even builds your confidence when you go out. When you go out and you are playing with your colleagues and then you are able to play all keys, you naturally even feel proud about yourself. And also when I'm teaching, pay attention to the breakdown. I intentionally spell the chord note by note so that you can listen and then transfer it to any key that you want just by listening to my breakdown and i think this will help all of us okay so once you do your best to play all the keys do well to listen to the breakdown that is why i take my time otherwise i could just play the chords slowly and then just go away but i have to take my time and spell the notes so that you can easily transfer it to other keys as well so god bless us all i think a lot of you have also heard this song before right it was in the key of a flat that is why i am breaking it down the key of a flat so let's get started Basically, the breakdown goes like this: Me prima cum six, then to the seven, then to the one, then to the four. S S M E five, that was you to the four, right? So it goes like six, seven to the one, then four, five, five, then to the four. And like I said in the previous lesson, it's a turnaround. I Please go and check the other lesson for the detailed breakdown of the strings version. This is the piano version, okay? Before you get to the six, right? Before you get to the we play our six like this, we can do a passing chord to the six because we are we are doing the piano. So uh, we will do this chord, okay? A C seven flat nine chord. Now remember, this is over the C, okay? So what I have on my left is the three flat six seven in my left hand and then my right hand is playing the uh, two four flat six seven two okay so just listen to the numbers i've mentioned and i take you to the key and i'm going and just play the same numbers over there you get the same chord okay this is over the c or your three two the six Yes, I have this chord as my six. Yeah. And look at what I'm doing on, on my six. On my left, I have the seven, three, one. On my right hand, I first of all played a one and a three. Okay. These, these ones alone before I did. That is, uh, so the right hand is very easy. One and three to the seven and two. Okay. But I did. And then this is what I did. Yeah, sometimes you can do a grace note or a, 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 a rule from the 6 to the 7. Or you can just slide from the flat 7 down to the 7. Okay? Yeah, so like... Or... Yeah. So, uh, we have... Okay? Then we have the 7. This is our seven. Okay, this is something we're playing. So uh, then this is a G minor seventh chord, but the voicing is very different. Yes, but it's a G minor seventh chord. I don't have the time to explain why I'm able to voice a G minor seventh chord like this. That is why I want you to visit our website using the link in the description below. The name of our website is what you are seeing on the screen musicempire.com just click on the link in our description the description just below this video 
click on the link it will take you straight to our website there are a lot of wonderful courses that teaches into details everything that we don't have time to break over on this channel our, our courses in the website explains all to detail so that you unravel the mysteries behind all of these quotes and then also get yourself some Ghanaian worship and praise and high life young concert courses all are available with free piano theory courses all are available on our, on our website so do well to visit musicempire.com using the link in the description below and you'll be blessed okay so let me break down this g minor seventh chord i have the seven flat five six on my left and on my right hand i have the two flat five six two okay so me prima kume now look at the one this is how i play the one okay it's a six seven one right this is how i play the one so this is an a flat seven source two source four chord so what i have on my left is the one five flat seven all those okay and then what i have on my right hand is the four flat seven two four okay so we have Then you can even do this chord still on the one. So you do, then you do, okay. Yeah, this is a very popular movement in contemporary gospel music. So, yeah, still on the one. But I did a walk, a chromatic walk from the flat six down to the flat seven. So, flat six, six, flat seven. And then, what did I do? I just brought this F sharp chord down. By same two. So I have three, six, flat two. Okay. Three, six, flat two. So remember these two chords are taking us to the four. Okay. To the four. So the, this four is simple. Now we have four, six, one on my left. And on my right hand, I have four, six, two. Now, for the sake of passing chords, I want to do. Uh, I want to do this chord, so that this two, you know, we we are not trying to know that two always takes us to the five, or most of the time, right? So we have, so we have this chord will now take us to the five. So we have the two, six, one, on my left, and then I have four, six, one, four on my right. So it's like four, two, to the five. Okay. Now the five is like five on the left, one chord on your right, one triad. But look at what I'm playing on the one. This five is an octave. Okay, so it's very simple. But the one I have three five one three. Okay, so so we have we play a single melody. That's the S S A right. Now we play our two to the five. Then from this five. Now I see. So we play. Then we play this one alone. So I'm just taking away the C, right? So we have. Then I play this one alone. Okay. Me. Then da. Now I see. Now we have this. So we have playing three chords on the five. This is the first chord. Then da. Right. That's the second chord. Now on the C. Now on the C. You see, my left hand is still the same. But look at my right. I have seven two five seven. It's very similar to the, how I played the one, right? Da, da, wa, si. So from here I see you. Da, you go to the four, but we are not playing this four. We, we play a four like this. Yeah, we are we are going the contemporary way. So we want to um, divert a little, right? But we are not trying to destroy the song. So um, then, wa, si, yo. Then I did this. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think I did this right. Yeah, this is a quarter. F minor eleventh. But let me show you what I did first. So like. S S. So we have. We have S S M E. Da wa si u. Da. You see. So let's take a look at this one. We have. It's a 514, right? 514. 
Yeah, and this is this, this, this what I'm doing. This is very classic. So on the five, I have five, two, flat seven on my left. And on my right hand, I have two, four, six. Okay? If it's too much for you to do what I'm doing on my left hand, just play flat, the flat seven with your thumb here so that you can do this. Okay? Yeah, but I like doing this. Me, I'm comfortable with this one. So, so you have this. And then, let, let's just do it. So I have one five on my left, and on my right hand I have the A flat major seven chord, which is one three five seven. Okay. So and then the four is what I love. The quarter we are producing over the C sharp. Okay. But you see, uh, so we have um, 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 it's like remember our bass note is the C sharp itself, but it looks a style. When when you hit it and they come and play this. It's a style on its own. Instead of maybe I playing a stretch, so I can do. Okay, so like, so like, yeah. I want I want this one to come out. Pam pam. See that kind of thing. Like, yeah. It's different from trying to play it together like this. Okay, my hands can't even reach it well, but we can do like. Yeah. So what I have on the left right now, remember with the C sharp in mind, what I have on the left right now is um six and then my right hand is doing two, five, one. Okay? It's a quarter. So okay. So let's combine everything together. We have um kumim. Now, as I said, it's a turn around. So from here, we are going to the Wunsa, Nunjuma, the same six. But let's let's use another person chord. Instead of doing this, we can do, uh, you can do, um, yeah, this one. Two or six. We can play a six like this, okay? Then, okay. So let, let's take it on my own. So like, um, 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 we have, then, then we have, to the six, yeah. So this is a passing chord to the six. Okay. So let's learn this chord. We have an E. Remember, this is over the three. Okay. But like I said, this is more like what I did over here. I want to do instead of playing it together. I want to do. So I have. Okay. So, okay. So this time I'm doing. Right. The first one was. Now this time I'm doing. So. So I have the, the walk from the flat five down to flat six. The chord of the chord I have on my right hand is um, two four flat seven. Okay. Then I will hit my bass note. These are all very unique styles that if you know, it makes huge difference. It's nothing, but it really makes huge difference. Then we come to uh, this our new six, which is an F minor ninth chord. So I have um, the six, three one. And then this time I have three, five, seven on my left. So I have see, I to then okay, so we can have we can have like S S S S They come to a two. Okay. A B minor nice called. Instead of playing like um, uh, me, now I see this chord, we can replace it with this two. So we'll do five, two, five, okay? So we have two, five, sorry, two, six, one. And then on my right hand, I have three, four, six, one. So. Place it with this one. 
we have this chord as well on the one. Instead of playing this, we can play this on the one as well. So I have, I think we have done this chord, right? We have one flat seven on my left. On my right, I have flat seven, two, four, six. So when you play this one, you can do to the four. I do this and sometimes I do this it all sounds nice on my ears it depends on the feel I want to go with okay so guys um, I just want you to sit down with these few chords that we have digested in this lesson um, master it in A flat transfer it to other keys and learn how to apply them in other songs okay because these are wonderful chords that you can apply in almost any song especially with these movements on the six and on the one and the five and all that okay I hope this lesson blesses you please subscribe if you haven't Turn on your notifications and God bless you. Let's meet in our next lesson to learn more and do what to visit musicempire.com.